I took MK677 for just under four weeks, 25 days. This was my result. First of all, let me tell you exactly why I took MK677. So I was over in Thailand all year, pretty much most of the year. This year, you're watching this in 2023, the back end of it. And I was sub 10% body fat, pretty much all year round. And I was there and I thought, you know what? It's been a while, more than eight years since I've wanted to add any muscle or wanted to look, quote unquote, bigger. I thought, let me fill out a little bit. Let me get a little bit bigger. And also the reason for doing this is because I'm going to be powerlifting. And when I'm powerlifting, I feel I need to be a little bit heavier. I need to be a bit more, you know, solid. Now, of course, I've been on TRT for a long time, almost eight years. I've been on TRT, possibly, maybe. Yeah, is it eight years? Yeah, around about eight years. So I've been doing TRT now for eight years. I don't do no crazy steroid cycles. I don't do anything excessive. For those people who want to know exactly what I do, head over to FadiHussein.com. Everything is explained in the TRT protocol. Link is in the description as well if you want to purchase it right now. You don't have to wait. Right. Everything's very moderate. Everything's monitored. I do regular blood work. I do more blood work than you guys combined. Every single person watching this together right now, I have the more blood work than you could ever imagine. More so than anyone I know. And I'm talking about some pro. I know some pro bodybuilders as well. And they don't do more blood work with me. And the reason for that is because I am often a, what do you call it? a skeptic for research papers. And when people say this study did this because this many people researched it, and it, I'm like, whoa, 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 hang on a minute. We're all individuals here. Let me go and take this shit myself. Now, of course, I'm not crazy. I'm not going to try crack and say, let's do the research on crack. Give me some crack. I want to make my own assumption. No, of course, I'm going to make my own assumption. But stuff like this, that is a research chemical. I'm like, you know what? Let me make my own assumption on it. Why not? Why don't I just take it? It's not going to kill me. Let's go for it. So goal was add some muscle. Four days in, one capsule a day, by the way. Let me give you the uh, the dosage on this as well. Dosage on this was 10 milligram per one capsule. I took 10 milligrams a day with breakfast. So every time I had breakfast, it one milligram, uh, 10 milligrams. Around about day four, I added two kilograms. A lot of it was water weight, of course. Of course it was water. Most of it was water. End of day seven, I was four kilogram heavier. Heavy, heavier? Heavier. Four kgs. I added four kgs in a week. Now I'm not saying this is going to be your result. I'm not saying do MK677. This is the holy grail of growth hormone. I'm just saying it worked for me. Did it help me look fuller? Of course, absolutely. Did it, add, did it help me put on mass? Weight, yes. Did it help me put on muscle? I don't know about that. Definitely not in seven days anyway. We definitely can't see any results in seven days. So halfway through the process, I did get a little a bit of a chronic tendonitis, which obviously I've got rid of now, thanks to my Voodoo Floss Band. I've got one over here. Might as well just do an advert, seeing as though we're at it. The Voodoo Floss Band is right here. This is available on FadiHussein.com as well. While we're here, you might as well go and get yourself one of these, FadiHussein.com. Thermo Flask. Put your cold drinks in here. They're going to stay cold for 24 hours. That's my guarantee, okay? And just another thing as well. My protein cell one exactly the same as this, which is half the size for 25 quid. And you know how much this is on my website. Link's in the description. Anyway, where was I? MK677. Took MK677. I was a little bit injured. About around week two, week three, I got a little bit injured. I got chronic tendonitis, which is now being taken care of. So... I did definitely get stronger, 100%, but I was doing everything all at once as well. So because of this, I was eating more food, and because of this, I was training hard, uh, harder, I was training heavier, and I was training a lot more than I ever have in a long time. Normally, I'm a bit of a lazy trainer, but for once, I thought, okay, I'm going to do a series on the YouTube, so you can click on the YouTube series as well, starting from scratch, and uh, I, I built back up to 240 kilogram deadlift. Obviously, there's more to come on that series. I've been away for a couple of weeks. So I'm back into the swing of things this week. But let me just continue with my review on MK677. I could wrote down a couple of things over here. For those who don't know, I used to compete in bodybuilding and powerlifting. And I've taken Pharma GH for one year. I'm talking Pfizer, Lilly, the top brands in the world, proper original GH. I can honestly say I got more benefit off this 10 milligram tablet than taking any pharma GH. 
This, the four weeks on this was better than six months on Pfizer and Lilly growth hormone. Now, I know people would probably argue by saying, Fatty, you're not doing a lot. You're only doing two to three IUs a day. I understand I was only two, doing two to three IUs a day. First of all, it's expensive as hell. I'm not going to do more than two to three IU a day. And also, if you're going to think that's low dose, are we not going to talk about the 10 milligram I was taking over here because you guys know that 10 milligram is also a very low dose for MK677. I'm just a low dose guy. I'm a hyper responder to everything, even food. Most people believe don't believe I don't have a lot of protein. I don't have a lot of carbs. I don't eat, I don't I just don't eat a lot of food. It's just the way it is, right? So I respond to very light uh, drugs. GH, former GH, ain't got nothing on this. This is, in my opinion, MK677 better than any growth hormone out there, I don't give a shit what you're talking or what you're taking, if it's Chinese, if it's German, if it's Russian, I don't care. And I know it's dose dependent, but I can almost guarantee you that this is going to get you better results than any GH on the market. Now, let's talk about side effects. Did I get a little bit more water retention whilst I took MK677? Of course, absolutely. I didn't add, a, I didn't add 4 kg of muscle in one week. But here's another thing that I did. And this is something that if you follow me, you know that I'm, I'm very good at doing. Well, not so very good at doing, but I'm, I'm always on the ball with this. And it's blood pressure. I monitor my blood pressure every single day, multiple times a day, whilst I was on MK677. And for me, this is just a personal thing. Because I know how to diet, I know how to do it. Nothing changed, like zero. Like my, you, if you looked at just blood pressure, you would not be able to tell that I'd added four kilogram of blow water salt, whatever you think it was that I had in four kilo in, in in one week. It definitely wasn't muscle, but my blood pressure did not change. Now, I'm not saying that if I stayed on it for longer periods of time, my blood pressure would not change, but I just did a four week experiment. And in the four weeks, my blood pressure did not change at all. I did find walking a little bit more taxing, but I don't feel it was down to the MK677. MK I think it was just mainly due to the fact that I was a little bit heavier and it was the first time I'd got this heavy in a long time and I just didn't really feel that good about myself. I could clearly see the water retention like it was the obvious. The water retention was obvious. If you look back in some of the videos, maybe my face was a little bit more bloated as well. It still kind of is a little bit, but I can't really see in the screen over there. So MK677. Yes, I would recommend it for, for guys who are wanting to try um the natural route because this is still classed as natty I, I don't know how people even you know what i'm not even going to say that in fact no don't 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 do it if you're a natural guy don't do it it's bullshit but look it's a very very good drug i think it's healthy i don't want to take it for anything longer than four weeks i personally wouldn't i i just don't really see the benefit of adding so much weight in such a short time span and i know some people would think well that's amazing i'm adding so much weight i can get stronger i can get bigger and hopefully in turn i can add more muscle by being bigger and stronger because if you can lift more weight then you can tear down more muscle fibers if you can tear down more muscle fibers more muscle fibers can repair and regrow bigger muscle so yeah it might work unfortunately for me my muscle building was cut short due to the injury but I would still recommend MK677 to any guy out there. Appetite, no. For me, it didn't really do jack shit. Appetite was still exactly the same as it always is, but I'm a little bit different when it comes to appetite. Nothing really works with me. I've tried GHRP6 as well on top of this, and it never really worked. So that's the thing. For digestion, my digestion's always pretty good. Very, very good. Better than most guys out there, so I'm going to say no. Definitely didn't do anything for digestion. Muscle gain, again, I would I can see the benefits it would have on muscle gain. So 100% good for muscle gain, 100% good for strength, 100% good for size. I think it's safer than actual pharmaceutical GH. It's cheaper than pharmaceutical GH. It is, in my opinion, the best GH to take on the market. Hopefully this gave you some value and saved you some money buying that expensive, you know, pharma grade GH. Comment down below, like, and please subscribe.